3D model, a virtual model on our touch table. We have a sensor on the camera, on the sensor on the head and on the lens. So as I move over here and my cameraman follows me, the 3D model stays locked in its position. And here we're starting to represent a basketball game or a future basketball game. I'm taking now the role of the technical expert or the um, expert pundit. What I might want to do is get rid of that stadium so we could really see close up how these players are going to line up. I have set plays here, so I can click on here to see how particular ways they're going to play. I can drag my players around and move them in different positions. So, on, so Onan, for example, this guy, I know he likes to shoot from distance. So if I click him here, he's going to take a shot. He never minutes, misses, he always gets that in. So because he's going to be shooting from distance, our man here needs to track him, so I'll make him run to that position accordingly. I could even bring him back the stadium back on, do a transition from the real to the virtual environment, so now we're completely virtual now. And again, from any sort of space, I can click, click up on these players, move them to a different position accordingly. I'm interested in this guy here, actually, um, this guy that's hanging at the back, he's Balby. He's quite a key player, so what I'm going to do is we're going to come out of that stadium and go back into the real, into the real environment. So various different moves that I can do that. And because I'm interested in this player, I want to focus on him. Let's have a look at his stats. I'll just throw him off the, pay, off the table, and here he appears. So now using the camera, we can track that. We've got a model of uh, what it looks like. We've got data coming from an external feed or so on. In this case, it's a 3D model in a top 3D renderer, but it can, of course, be a real clip, a real piece of video. An important thing is that everything I've shown you here today was built by our graphic designers within TOG using the TOG Touch node. So there's no coding that's gone on to driven this, so any kind, of your, any kind of changes or modifications that you want to make to your presentations, you can do yourself, making the decisions, putting the decisions in, into the hands of the right people, you and your graphic designers. So thanks very much for your attention. Please feel free to come and have a play. Oh, applause. Thank you. You can come back after every presentation.